guess what we're doing today? This water pump setup is very old school and this motor is about shot. So I am done with this setup. I am gonna get rid of this. It, it doesn't need to have this. It, it runs weird. I'll show you. See, uh, it works, but it's not like ideal for what I need. If this is too tight, then uh, it doesn't spin at all. Solution for that, I got an electronic water pump, which is going to increase the amount of flow going into the engine and into the radiator, and it's gonna clean it up and make it look a lot nicer. So we're gonna install that today. Okay, we had some issues because this little freaking stupid front cover, as you can see, it's pitted like crazy. So the way this pump works, there is a front cover plate. This is the new one. And this plate right here has to go over this. In order for there not to be any leaks or anything like that, has to cover up this hole. So that's what this plate is for. Then your pump goes on the outsides of that. Now with all the pitting in there, uh, the gasket was not gonna seal and it was just gonna leak coolant and that's not something I want. So, got the new one. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that guy off. Oh man, I RTV'd it and everything. Guess we're gonna need a new gasket. So now we're gonna put on the nice shiny anodized stuff and then that's gonna make it so much nicer. So if you don't know about these pumps, for some reason, they say they're for this engine, a 351 Cleveland. This fill neck for the coolant, when it is connected to where it's supposed to be, it hits your harmonic balancer. And that's not, that's not good. We don't, we won't even be able to put a hose around it. Went to the Home Depot and I got me some pipe. I don't know what type of pipe it is, but it's pipe. So that's gonna have to work for that. And then I have to get a new hose for this. All right, we finally got her done. I didn't film the alternator bracket part because I don't really, yeah. Water pumps on, got the harmonic balancer and all that painted a little bit. So it looks all right. And I got the new alternator bracket on. It's nice because it's got a turnbuckle underneath. So we can tighten it as we please. And uh, oh yeah, I went ahead and I got the inner tie rods all done. Um, they were really bad. I actually have some, I'll show you. Here was one of them. And there was about two mil of play in and out. So uh, good that we got those done. So now we just take it to my alignment guy and gonna align it and make it perfect. And then after that, we're gonna go to the drag strip and actually race this thing, finally. It's been way too freaking long. Let's get to the track. Well, I was literally gonna go drag racing today, but both head gaskets are blown. They were literally boiling out from right here and right here. And uh, so much pressure in these lines. That's probably why one of the old ones busted off and it sprayed me in the face. So I guess this weekend or sometime I'm gonna do head gaskets, yay. Well, we got most of everything done and so now let's go ahead and redo it again, yay. So uh, I went, took it to work 
was getting it ready to go to the drag strip and then I noticed that coolant was boiling past both head gaskets so yeah it's time to do a head gasket so we have the intake manifold gasket new water pump gasket I got this roll of uh, gasket material so I can cut out the uh, gaskets for this guy because I don't have extras for that and then uh, here's your head gasket set um, if you're doing a high performance build and you get these umbrella style valve stem seals don't ever use them because they you will consume so much oil and it's just not worth it go get something that actually seals the valve stem to the valve guide um otherwise you're just gonna consume oil like crazy everything else in these kits are pretty good i just don't recommend you use these um all right well let's go ahead and do the head gaskets Ugh. Okay, so got the heads cleaned. They look pretty good. Um, they're not perfect, but they'll do. They're nice and smooth. And we got the new gasket on there. Um, hopefully it clears well, since they double gasketed it. Um, I have no idea about the previous, you know, reasoning for doing that. So, I mean, it could be for a couple of reasons. It could be that they did it because of clearance. So I'm gonna do one side and torque everything, do that, test it, see if it actually works without touching. If it doesn't, we're good, yay. I don't know why they did that. Maybe to lower the compression a little bit. I don't know, could be multiple things. So let me get this side on. I'm gonna torque it down, do the sequence and everything like that, and then uh, see if it clears. And if it does, this video will continue. If it doesn't, it won't be out for a lot longer now. <laughs> I forgot to film putting this head on. I'm skipping to the point where I'm torquing it down by the torque sequence. Sorry, I just wanted to put it on and I did it without do recording it. Now it starts. It's been a little while because I had to do a bunch of stuff like move my truck and do all that. So got the gasket, chose a different style gasket because before it was the Valley Pan gasket and it seemed to leak every time I used it. So we're gonna try the Felpro two piece one, kind of see if that helps or if it's better. And so we're gonna just throw this on here real quick. I'm not gonna film it. I'm just gonna throw it on, get the lash adjustment done because that is really the only thing left that I need to do. And then after that, it should be ready for race week. I just don't know if it's leaking coolant or not because of the blown head gasket. So we'll get, I guess we're gonna have to see if it does leak. I'm gonna have to pull the whole front cover off again, so. That'll be like the fifth, sixth time I've done it. I'm sorry for the wind noise. It's very windy all the time here and there's a lot of dust. So like within a week it gets dusty, even though it's clean. So it, I'm sorry, yeah, it looks bad. I just finished the lash adjustment. You wanna get it to where you can move it side to side a little bit, but you can't move it up and down. Then you got a good adjustment and you can move on. So yeah, I'm gonna finish putting everything back together. Uh, just like the wiring, um, the spark plug wires, spark plugs, and um, I cranked it over, check clearances and everything like that. And it seems to be all good. All right, we're gonna go take this for a rip real quick. Cause it's late, almost late. Let's get her going. Uh...
this thing just doesn't want to stop popping the freaking coolant so that's the end of the video i was about to rip it but something's going on so we might have to take this thing apart and dig further in because i think the head's cracked or something so here you go happy mustang time we'll have another video out soon hopefully figuring out what's going on with this but i'm done with it for now keep on boosting the world <laughs>